Hey everybody, Rare Old Meal Time's back again, and today, coming at you with something very special. A staple of the USMRE lineup, menu number 9, Beef Stew, from 2010. Now, the Beef Stew lineup has been in the MRE lineup since 1981, which was its initial production date. This menu can also be found in just about any other U.S. ration, including ration cold weathers, meal cold weathers, and food packet long-range patrols. I'm really looking forward to a nice, home-cooked, comforting meal out of this MRE. So it'll be interesting to see how a MRE of this age has held up. Let's go ahead and get it weighed. It comes in at 1.8 pounds, or 820 grams. And I just want to give a shout out to Tim. Thanks so much, man, for sending this to me. It's really great talking rations with you, so I'll be shooting you a message soon right after this, all right? Let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what we're dealing with here. This is the most vintage MRE I've uh, gotten into so far. I can already tell the differences are pretty astounding just looking at the packaging here. So that's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and get it open here and see what we got. We got this beef stew here. A completely different look to it. And you know what? I kind of like it. Here's the nutritional information made by AmeriQuill here. We got the garlic mashed potatoes. Almond poppy seed pound cake. Crackers. Apple jelly. I wonder how that guy's doing. French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. Right on. This was really good the last time uh, I had it. I'm a little nervous about its age on this one, though. As you know, this thing has some dried milk in it. Milk derivative. Now we got the accessory packet here. Those little Tabasco bottles that I've seen seen around here. Toilet paper here. It looks like it's made by the same company as it is currently, so there we go. Got some iodized salt. Moist towelette. Iced tea drink mix, lemon flavored, which looks like I almost think this is the same thing that you can be that can be found in the food packet survival general purpose. Interesting enough. Got the MRE spoon here, a hot beverage bag. All right, and we got the flameless ration heater or the FRH. So how that performs. All right, everybody, here's everything laid out. So let's go ahead and check out this boxed main and get that in the FRH here. Hey, this is kind of cool. What's in an MRE? And this kind of reminds me of the Canadian IMPs. They come in their mains come boxes as well. Okay, got that retort pouch. So one change I can tell, uh, or just right off, it's not a side tear, it's a top tear. Just trying to get these potatoes in that FRH too. Let's go ahead and get those open. Yeah, look at that. Like a completely different informational kind of thing. A force multiplier. Check that thing out if you'd like. I'm gonna read it here in a minute. Garlic mashed potatoes. You know, I had a run in with these last MRE I had and I didn't really care for them. So let's see if the 2010s are any better. Uh, you know, I hear FRHs do kind of go bad after some time. Pushing the limits, let's see how it does. <laughs> All right guys, well, the FRH I think is dead. So I'm gonna go warm this up uh, in a pot for a few minutes and I'll be getting back at you. While the beef stew and the potatoes are getting warmed up on my stove, let's go ahead and get these drinks going. Starting off with this iced tea drink mix, lemon flavored. Let's do it. All right, so as far as making this, uh, just fill it to the line indicated there, just like the, uh, you know, just like the newer ones I've been reviewing. Kind of smells off. I'm going to proceed cautiously for sure. This is hot water too, by the way. Yeah, it, it smells kind of foul, I'll be completely honest. To this guy, getting this open, the almond poppy seed pound cake, 310 calories here. One thing, nope, I don't see anything about not being trans fat free, which kind of indicates this age. I guess around 2014, 2015, they started putting trans fat free items, like bakery items. Man, that smells awesome. I am a poppy seed fan. Let's see what we're dealing with. It does feel a little bit on the dry side. I'll we'll have to be checking that out. Crackers going on. Oh man, did you hear that? I wanna try some of the real old ones. Everybody says they're better when they still had salt on them. Okay, looking good. They've held their shape together. All right, got that peanut butter here. Let's go ahead and get that on a cracker. 
Interesting enough, this kind of has like a little perforation going on here. Let's see if that kind of works. Nope. All right. This one would have definitely a more of a chance to go bad. But right, it feels kind of bloated. Uh, see what's up with this. Let that rest on top there. And there is more in those packages. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that at the moment. Just a few more minutes to get those mains out here. And give this tea a shot here. It's just like a stale, bland, lemon flavored tea water. Kind of disappointing to be completely honest. For example, I just had tea from a 1987 German ration, which was way better and fresher tasting than this stuff right here. Looking pretty good. Smells like garlic potatoes filling the room, which is awesome. Smelling fantastic. So, I'm gonna let that cool off real quick. As you can tell, it's steaming. And let's go ahead and give that classic MRE cracker with peanut butter from 2010. The cracker's perfect. They're still crunchy and fresh tasting. Peanut butter, it's that creamy, tastes perfectly normal. An excellent traditional combo. Got that apple jelly here, let's give that a shot. Tastes sweet. Uh, apple flavor is on the light side. Still tastes perfectly fine. Tangy apple flavor, very nice. And um, I haven't had apple jelly out of any of the MREs yet. And that's kind of a nice addition. Really digging that, not bad. Let's go ahead and dig into this main here. Got some beef stew, so we got some carrots and some beef and some potatoes. Let me give it a smell real quick. Smells perfectly fresh. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Classic beef stew flavor. It's like you're rocking some peas and some carrots. Kind of has a, it's very savory. Uh, maybe a little bit of a garlic flavor to it. Like more of a steak-like chew than I thought was gonna happen. I can definitely see why this has been around for so long. It's a very comforting and easy to eat main entree. Definitely a crowd pleaser. Let's go ahead and give these garlic potatoes a shot. They don't they don't smell near as garlicky as the ones I ate before, so let's see how they stack up. I'm not even joking when I say this. Those are fantastic. This is right on. The texture, it's not as slimy. It's more of a normal instant mashed potatoes. It's actually a little goopy if I could say anything bad about it. There's actually quite a bit of parsley in it, which is interesting. The garlic flavor is muted. It's buttery. That's nice. Cool. Okay, so let's go to the sketchiest thing here. This is that uh, cappuccino. Proceed cautiously with a small sip. There's something not right about that. It's a strange flavor. It's not very sweet even. Hold on. Let's, let's just, you know, so we know the profile. Yeah, it's almost like a chemical or slightly band-aidy taste. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna steer away from that, which is a real shame. Is when fresh, I've had this and it's pretty solid. So that's a shame. So I'm a huge fan of poppies. Let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. Feels nice and soft still. Man, looking good. Smelled so good, I just went for a big bite. And I don't regret it either, it tastes really good. It has a strong almond flavor. The poppy seeds complement it nicely. It's sweet, it's really soft. Poppy seeds have that familiar, you know, unique, a nice kind of little burst of that poppy flavor. This is a high up there dessert for me in my book. You know, I'm a real fan of Tabasco sauce. I really don't think this needs it. And this bottle, this little bottle is pretty cool too. I'm just gonna hold on to that is amazing what a retort pouch can do. I mean, this tastes perfectly fresh. The beef stew's awesome. Totally see why it's still around. Thanks so much for watching and uh, really appreciate it. I uh, hope you're having a good day or a good night wherever you are. So I'll be seeing you real soon with another ration review. Hope to see you then. Thanks a lot. Cheers and bye.